What's up, my fam? Tom Arnone, A2D Radio. Cass Arnone, A2D Radio. He's got his man bun in. Let's talk crumb of the day. Why in the heck would we talk about trading Joel Embiid right now? Somebody out there enlighten me on how that's going to make us better. And you can tell me, Tom, you know, you might get two good players in return. Am I getting stars in a star-driven league? No. Don't tell me, right, that guards can't play with Joel Embiid. All right, okay. Ben Simmons is Joel Embiid as much as Ben does nothing that a true point guard does in terms of on the perimeter shooting the basketball. All right, they won 69, 69.5% of their games together. 69.5% of their games together. So now people are going to tell me, well, well, Tom, Tyrese Maxey, his numbers are really bad when he plays with Joel Embiid. What's that sample size, people? And we're talking about a young player trying to feel his way through the league as well. So trading Joel Embiid right now is not the answer. Why in the hell is his name and trade even being put together? There's one guy who needs to be traded right now, and that's Ben Simmons. Until you move Ben Simmons, I don't even want to talk about trading nobody. Until you move him and let me see what that return is. And I'm not trading anybody this year. First of all, Joel Embiid is untradeable. Okay? Unless you give me a haul that makes me better, he's untradeable. And I don't think you get that. I don't think you're getting stars back that are going to make you a better basketball team. He gives you the best chance to win right now. So all this season right now is unknown until the loser 25 plays. Or you get the return back that you can judge this basketball team on. So miss me, anybody out there talking about trading Joel Embiid. Because if you really believe that, that that makes you better, stop watching the NBA. Tom Arnone, Cass Arnone, A2D Radio, the best in the business. No notes.